I really wish that I could have soup for lunch on keto. I was eating these like just for lunch and I was like, you know, like this is basically what's in like a chicken soup. Wonder what would happen if I just put this in some broth and milk and this is where we landed. <laughs> Hey y'all, it is Brandon, one third of Southern Snackers, y'all. I'm coming at you today with a video for something that I do all the time. I'm calling this my low carb lunch hack. I look different today, y'all. It was just Halloween. If you saw the video, you know that I was Winifred Sanderson. It was truly a dream come true, but y'all, I had to shave all my facial hair. I'm not used to seeing myself like this, and I think I look atrocious, so I'm sorry if you're repulsed by the, the way I look right now, the way that I am. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna tell you about a low carb lunch hack that I have discovered being in quarantine or working from home. So probably like a lot of, like me, a lot of you are working from home. I don't know, maybe you're not, but if you are, I have a great idea to share with you. So I love soup for lunch, especially now that it's getting cooler outside, you know, it's fall is actually upon us now, winter's coming soon. I love soup. However, all the canned soups you get, if you're doing keto or a low carb lifestyle, they are packed with carbs y'all. Even the ones that are like light and like lighter, fewer calories, one can still has at least like 25 grams of carbs, which is like close to your daily allotment if you're doing keto. So my solution, I have discovered these Atkins low carb living frozen meals. They are delicious. So I've been getting this one, the crustless chicken pot pie, and also the cauliflower rice bowl, which is like a creamy chicken risotto or something, or cheesy chicken risotto. And then also this one from Bird's Eye, which is just a chicken fried rice cauliflower. So what we're gonna do today, y'all, is we're gonna make a makeshift soup using this as the ingredients for our soup. And then we're gonna take some chicken broth and some heavy cream. We're gonna heat them up. We're gonna heat this up in the microwave and then we're gonna pour it all together in one pot. And then we're gonna have ourselves a low carb soup for lunch today. Let's get started. So first things first, we're going to put some chicken broth and some heavy whipping cream in this pot right here. We're gonna measure out. And y'all, chicken broth is super low carb. Uh, hardly any at all, actually. So we'll do two cups of the chicken broth. And y'all, my, my pan is already on, so it's a little warm. Yeah, you left it on with nothing in it, and okay, you went to change. The cameramen don't usually talk, so. Okay, sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, and then, whoop, we're gonna do one cup of the heavy whipping cream. Look at these angles. I love these angles. I better like these angles. <laughs> so we're gonna put that in the pot, y'all. We're gonna let that heat up. Just put it on like a little simmer. Then, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use my favorite one today. So my favorite is the crustless chicken pot pie. Okay, that's- <laughs> I'm just trying to get the best angle possible. <laughs> wow, that's fine for the angle. And you're just gonna follow the instructions on the box as far as how to uh, cook the, the crustless chicken pot pie thing. So most of them, it says heat it for 3.30. You're gonna cut a slit in the top. You're gonna pop it in the microwave for three minutes and 30 seconds. And then we're gonna add some spices who are soup base. So I'm just gonna do some black pepper. I, y'all, I love a lot, a lot of pepper in my soup. And y'all know he little, don't measure nothing. I don't. And a little bit of garlic. And then y'all, we're just gonna, you can just mix it up. Let this get nice and warm. You got some seasonings on the side of the stove. Oh, great. And then y'all, what we're gonna do is we'll be right back. Once this is finished in the microwave, we're just gonna pour that in the soup, let it boil for a little bit, and then we're gonna pour it in a bowl, and then we're gonna eat it, and I'm gonna be back at you with a mukbang. So stay tuned when you'll see me pour the chicken into the soup, which is gonna be riveting, so come back, bye. All right, y'all, so our frozen meal is done in the microwave, y'all. It is nuked and ready to go. So now we're just gonna peel the label, the top off, the label board, mm. and then we're just gonna pour it into our soup. So this is the crustless chicken pot pie, which is like cheesy, it's buttery, it's got some broccoli and some chicken in there. Careful. Some carrots, some spinach. That looks so disgusting. <laughs> I'm kidding. Really? No, it looks great. Really? No, it looks awesome. I'm, I'm mm, young. Why are you a part of this video? Cause you need somebody to hold the camera. I didn't need anybody to hold the camera. Okay, so now we're gonna start up the nasty suit. And then we'll be back and you can watch me eat the nasty soup. All right, y'all. Now it is time. I'm just going to pour this in my bowl and then I'm going to go in the other room and I'm going to eat it and you're going to watch me eat it and we're going to kiki, okay? So here we go. Gotta oh, tell them about that that you just got. Y'all, I bought a chicken broth at Food Line and it was pure open. Yeah. Like, 
I went to shake it up and it just leaked everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. And now I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese on top. Cheese is a godsend when you're doing the keto diet. This is some finely shredded Parmesan. So we sprinkle some Parmesan cheese in there. I don't know, you were looking at me weird from behind the camera. Y'all ignore the mess. Halloween was just this weekend, so ignore all that back there. Okay, I knew you must have been upset about something. So now we're gonna just stir it up and then I'm gonna go to the other room and we're gonna eat lunch. And I'm excited. Mm. All right, y'all, so we're ready to eat. So just to recap, what we did, y'all, we put this Atkins Low Carb Living Frozen Meal. It is the crustless chicken pot pie. We cooked this like it's said to do in the microwave. In the meantime, we heated up two cups chicken broth and one cup of heavy whipping cream in a, in a little pot. And then once everything was ready, we mixed it all together, added some black pepper and garlic, and then we sprinkled in some Parmesan cheese on top just to give it a little more cheesy flavor because I love my soups cheesy and I love my soups creamy. Now, here's the thing. If you want a more traditional like chicken noodle soup, just broth, you don't have to add the cream. You can do just broth. I mean, this is, this was literally like one day I was like thinking to myself, I was like, I really wish that I could have soup for lunch on keto. And then I was like, you know what? Like I was eating these like just for lunch. And I was like, you know, like this is basically what's in like a chicken soup. So I was like, wonder what would happen if I just put this in some broth and milk. And this is where we landed. So I love it, y'all. I eat it like all the time for lunch now when I'm working from home and it is so yummy and I, I just love it. The, the flavor that it has is really good and like you can see on the top of the bowl. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's some like butter that's on top of there, which I'm assuming just comes from the, the frozen meal naturally and from the heavy cream. Mm. But it does make like a really rich and creamy soup. So I highly recommend it. If you are doing low carb and you can't find a soup you love, you know, and you don't want to work, deal with like making one all the way from scratch, this is a great solution. I mean, it, it really is. And it, it fills me up every time I eat it for lunch. It's so good. And y'all, I just, I love soup. Like, y'all know some of my favorite meals to make are soups. Here soon, I'm hoping on the channel to make y'all um, my sopa de pollo, which is like, a, it's like a chicken soup that I get all the time when we go to Mexican restaurants here in Charlotte. It's like one of my favorite things to get. It's super simple to make and it's really easy to make low carb. Um, instead of rice, you just use cauliflower rice um, and it's so, so good. So hopefully on the channel soon I can make that for y'all so y'all can kind of see. It's, it's really simple to make. Mm. I was thirsty too. So I'm gonna dig into my soup now. Then y'all, as you know, it was just Halloween. We were the Sanderson sisters. Hopefully you watched the video. If you have not, please, please, please go back and watch it. You will not be disappointed. I was living as Winifred Sanderson. It has been like literally since I was like a child. <laughs> it has been one of my like bucket list Halloween costumes. I've always known like I have to be her one year for Halloween. I just want to do it. And then this year y'all we made it happen. I was so excited. Uh, and I mean it was it was so much fun to just be that character. But I will say y'all, I did have these nails that were like probably like this long and like spiky. I don't understand how women or people just who wear nails wear really long nails. Like I genuinely do not understand how you function in day-to-day -day life and wear like long nails. Like I could not do anything. Like I, it was a chore to just like pick up my cell phone or like 
cut vegetable. I mean, it was like, it was literally like, I could not do anything. And I don't understand, like, after doing that, I was like, I genuinely do not understand how people wear nails like that and, like, do, like, normal everyday functions. Like, how do you put on your clothes? How do you tie your shoes? How do you wipe? <laughs> like, what do you do? And I still, I just can't understand. Because it really does stop you from, like, just doing little, like, you can't pick anything up because your nails are, like, out to here and you're like, like, if I was trying to get this spoon, it would be literally, like, I, I don't know. Anyway, so if you wear long nails and you want to share some tips and tricks in the comments, please, by all means, because I do, like, just <laughs> genuinely do not understand how you make it work. Mm. And you know, when I eat my soup, I love to just eat like the soupy part and then like save the good, like the, you know, all the ingredients for like the end. I'm weird. I eat stuff weird. Like I said, y'all, I also had to shave my whole face for the makeup for Winifred and... I have not seen my entire face shaved in, honestly, years. Like, it has been, oh my, I don't even know, y'all. At least five to six or seven years. And I do not like it. <laughs> I look like a completely, I, I, I honestly think I look like totally, like a totally different person. I really, really hope some of y'all try this because I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll be really, really surprised. And I know a lot of people like are like anti-frozen meals and I get that if you want like all natural. Like they do have some that are, you know, no GMOs, no preservatives, that whole thing. Um, I'm not quite that, you know, um, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, I'll eat these. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, so just, I feel like there's so many different things you could do. I did, I have tried the beef ones and it's really good if you get like a beef broth um, or like a wonton soup mix and you make the soup and then put the beef. There's there's an Atkins meal called a beef Merlot that's really good and it's like a really good like beef stew. So really all the options are endless. I mean, it's just one of those like throw things in a pot and see what happens, but it's really, really good. And it's relatively inexpensive. I mean, you know, these are like three bucks each. <clears throat> the chicken broth, I buy the food, I buy the food line brand, or the, I buy the cheap brand of everything. I'm one of those people, I firmly believe in the cheap brand um, or the store brand. So the chicken broth is like a dollar twenty something and then the heavy whipping cream for like a huge thing is like three bucks. So by the time you, I mean, you probably got about four bucks in a, you know, in a lunch, which is, which is good. Pretty economical. And y'all, honestly, this is better than any canned soup I've ever had. So, I don't know what that's worth. I think maybe it's got less salt in it. I don't know, though. It could be wrong. Because I do get the, I always get the reduced sodium or no salt added chicken broth. I kind of want to show y'all what this looks like. Like, in the bowl. Can y'all see that? 
Mm. It's so good. <laughs> it really, really is. And y'all, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be rude and drink from the bowl. I already have, but. Mm. It's just so good. <clears throat> See now what I'm what I've said like I've got all my like my gunk from the soup. <laughs> If y'all have any like food hacks like this, tell me. I love stuff like this. Like, I love like just finding like efficient ways to make things like this. To me, this is super efficient. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It is a lot more expensive than just like buying a can of soup, but. Like I said, you, you get low carb, like between, you know, this box is six, this is only six net carbs. The broth and the cream are both super low carb. So you're probably looking at like eight, eight grams of carbs or something, maybe eight or nine. I don't know, something like that in this whole bowl. So that's, that's really low for like a, for like a meal. Um, so anyway, yeah. So y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If not, I'm really sorry. I know some of y'all have no interest at all in low carb stuff or, you know, whatever. Y'all want to see us really gorge, but y'all, this is just <clears throat> what I do on the daily. I thought I would share it with you because I thought it, I, it's it's really done well for me. I've loved it. I've loved eating it at home. I've loved making it at home. It's been super simple, super light, low cost. So I thought I'd share it with you. And if you love it, if you think you want to try it, please do. Please let me know, uh, you know, how it goes. Either DM us on Instagram or like comment on this video later. But I would love for you to try it and just tell me what you think. Because uh, I really, really think you'll like it. If you love soup, um, you will 100% like it. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. So, anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, go buy your coldest bottle. Y'all, I live by this. Like, I'm not, if you know me and I think my stickers know me, I'm not somebody who's gonna sit on here and tell you that something works when it don't work. These bottles work. I drink from them all the time. We love them. So, go get your coldest bottle. The links and everything is down in the bio. But y'all are down in the comment. Or, oh my god. I can't talk today, y'all. The description. Uh, anyway, so y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. And just remember, y'all, when life gets tough, just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all. Wow, you couldn't wait to get in here, could you? Jesus. Were you right outside the door the whole time? Yeah. The whole hour.